Hey there everyone, I'm sure many of you have heard about haunted bridges, haunted roads, haunted stories in general. Well today, I have one of those for you. Coming to you from Springfield Township, Bucks Springfield Township, Bucks County, and we have a reported haunted covered bridge. And it's called the Next Bridge. Yes. And it was built in 1873. And I'm gonna put some links down below with more information about the story surrounding this, but reportedly what RJ shared with me who's also here with me today, of course, um, is that a woman hung herself in this bridge and that at certain times of uh, day or night, certain things do happen, especially with car trouble as well. Um, and, you know, obviously with stories, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of myths and facts and things that get strewn about, but I want to show you the bridge because it is pretty neat looking. It has some history to it. It's in a beautiful area. And just prior to us filming this clip right now, we caught a really cool uh, catch of a DeLorean coming through. Doc Brown made his way back to 1985, and he was driving from Jersey, too. <laughs> Jersey tags. Um, but, yeah, this is a, a nice one-lane covered bridge, and it's sturdy enough so that, you know, you don't have to worry about termites holding hands and the bridge collapsing like in the movie uh, Funny Farm. This ain't a bridge. It's termites holding hands. We're going over it. Not me. I wouldn't go over this thing on a skateboard. We're going over it. Forefathers, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so come along with me and RJ as we see what this haunted bridge is all about. So there is a one lane paved road making its way into the bridge. Once you do crest the inside of it, obviously it is a wooden floor. And they do have sides here, I guess probably for pedestrians. But looks like they got beams and planks going this way and then more planks going across to give the support for vehicles. And it has a, um, almost like a picnic basket weave designed to it. Now other covered bridges I've seen, I've done others with RJ in the past. Um, they have like a arch in the middle. This one is just kind of straight across, but as we look, hopefully it's going to come through on camera, but the end of it is kind of off kiltered a little bit. And we got a vehicle coming through, so we'll let them pass and then we'll continue. RJ did say there's a fire alarm in here too near the entrance because these bridges unfortunately are subject to arson. But on the sides here we can see straight through to the bottom there is a creek down there somewhere you can hear the water flowing. I could imagine this would be kind of a have a creepy element to it at nighttime. And it looks like people have done some burnouts in here too. Is that what this is from? So we got some... Yeah, you can see the tire marks in that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can actually see the tread. I believe there are lights in here. Yeah, these are lights. So at night, it's lit up in here. Okay, so there is illumination at night. Now as to what specific part of the bridge the woman hung herself, obviously we don't know that. Um, it wasn't any time recent though. He's thinking, RJ's thinking probably 60s or 50s. But maybe the websites I'll have linked down below will shed more light on that. Now we're coming through to the other side. There is a sign out here that RJ stated something kind of unique, which I'm going to have him share with you guys. He could tell it better than I could. Yeah, because I've actually seen it. <laughs> so if you want to explain. All right. Uh, I got to remember which one it is. It's one of these two signs here. But when you come through from this direction at night, it used to be, I don't know if it's still this way because it's been a while since I've been out here, but the reflection of your headlights off of the sign shows a burnt in etched image of the devil with the devil horns on the actual sign now i know somebody years ago that i i knew years ago that actually took one of the signs and hung it on his bedroom wall they replaced the sign and then a week later that image returned on a completely different new sign so whether that's still there or not i don't know i mean the last time i came through here at night it wasn't so it's been probably a good couple of years since i've been through here and the story that I got with the woman hanging herself, the, the lure or the what do you, whatever you want to call it, is 
if you drive in in the middle of the night, stop your vehicle, uh, do a sequence with your headlights and your horn, I forget what the sequence is, but whatever that sequence is will shut your vehicle off and you won't be able to restart it. And the story is, is that the woman who hung herself then gets you and attacks you in your vehicle. Have you ever tried it? Uh, I remember trying it with somebody years ago, but nothing happened, so. <laughs> in their vehicle, not mine. It's kind of a similar story to a location that myself and Alan did a paranormal investigation on. It was a haunted cul-de-sac where um, reportedly if you turn your lights off, drive in a circle three times, this phantom truck will come and chase you off the road. Never happened, but stories are, are fun. But we're going to see if we can locate that sign and give you a look at that. So here's the current sign. Uh, RJ said it was pretty much very similar to this one here. This one is a newer one, but as he mentioned, coming through at night when your lights reflected off it, you saw the burned image of the devil. Here in the daytime, obviously we don't see anything here, and I won't be here at night to duplicate or replicate that, but it is interesting to think that that is possible. But let me know your thoughts down below if you think that is um, any truth to that. Wanted to give you a quick look underneath. Uh, it looks like 1934 this base was put in here. Oh, so they do have some metal reinforcements. So right here, these are steel beams. And the rest of it is wood and they got these um, turnbuckles to kind of keep the tension on everything here. So the flowing creek is over there. This is just a little uh, side shoot of it, I guess, which spills into the main creek. Yeah, it's, it's a neat little area. Uh, you can tell this area does get up underwater, uh, maybe even possibly flood. And looking at it, at least from my perspective, I could see a little bit of an arch you know, kind of like you'd see like on a flatbed trailer where it's higher in the middle for the weight to give it some flex. But it does have concrete and stone here for the um, abutments, if you want to call it that. But as mentioned though, it is a gorgeous area right now in the pretty much middle of peak with the autumn colors. Deer, deer running. Fall foliage mm -hmm. in the colors, so it's really makes for a nice background. Absolutely. And today's uh, a perfect fall day. It's uh, upper 60s, sunny, no clouds, no wind. Absolutely gorgeous day. Although you can tell by my shirt, I am thinking ahead to Christmas, but <laughs> uh, we're just shy of Halloween just a week before. So I figured this would be a, a nice little thing to share with you guys. And I didn't know this. We were didn't know we were going to be stopping here until RJ said, he's like, I have a little surprise for you. We'll see if we can make a stop and check it out. So I do want to thank him for taking me there. But it is a pretty neat looking bridge. Um, the covered bridges always really draw some attention. They're not super common, but there are plenty of them in Pennsylvania. Bucks County has quite a bit itself, just by itself. Yeah, I know, I know you could certainly do a covered bridge tour if you wanted to. But with that being said, I want to thank you for stopping by to watch this video. If you guys have any um, thoughts you want to share, feel free to do so. And like I said, there will be links down below, hopefully shedding some more light on the stories surrounding this bridge. Thanks again to RJ for taking me here. And thanks to all of you for hanging out with us. Until next time, everyone.
We'll see you in the next video.